Hi, um, I'm here again at the Centre for Computing History. Um, I'm here with Wendy Milgates. Welcome along. Thank you. Thanks very much for coming along today. Um, it's actually uh, our 70th celebration of the LEO computer uh, this weekend at the museum. Um, and we have a number of people that have come along to, to be a part of this, um, including Wendy. So welcome. Yep, thank you. So from what I hear, you programmed on the LEO 3 computer, is that right? That's absolutely right. So what did that involve? Well, I mean, I started, on, I didn't know what computer programming was. Right. I went for an interview because my brother said, that would be, that looks, sounds like a job for you. And I went for the interview, which was a, a, like a training course. You did a bit of training in the morning and then you wrote a program and then in the, about six o'clock they decided whether you could employ it anyway. So that was the beginning really? of getting in, still not knowing what I'm doing, but I went into what was then called the software department. Uh -huh. And so we were writing in user code for the, the translator, which was what other users used and it was written in user code itself. So we were maintaining it and adding enhancements to it for when the users decided what they wanted. Right, so that's, that's kind of today, that would be kind of called the operating system for the computer well, in Well, no, 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 the operating system was the master routine. That's the one that actually ran the programs in actually inside. Right. Now this was like, it's like working out the language it's like, well, not Cobalt, I don't know what people write in now. Not many people write in anything, do they? Oh, no, no, that's no, what they Somebody yeah, does. Yeah. Python and yes, PHP. No, it's, it's, the, it's the language for the programmers to use. Ah, we OK. Were, we controlled the program that the programmers used. The, right, OK. Does that make sense? Yeah, yeah. So you're, you're writing the programming language, essentially, <laughs> yeah, yeah, that they would yeah. then use to yes. write the business applications. They write business applications, right. that's right. OK. Yeah. So what led you to go and apply for a, for a job at, I don't. At, at Leo, what qualifications did you have? That I you came straight from school. Right. With A levels, straight maths. <laughs> a levels in what? Maths. So it's probably the maths that, that. Something logical or something in there, yeah. Right. So you've got a very logical way of I thinking think that, about yes, things. Yes, I mean, that's what. Which applies Because in those maths. days, that's what programming was. To do an addition, you put something to there and then you added to it and then you moved it. And so it was plod, not plod, plod, but it was, yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, it's, so I haven't really got a real reason for going there. <laughs> Never heard of Leo or computers. <laughs> you hadn't, so, so before that, that day, going, going for the no, interview, you no, hadn't even heard no, of it? No, or, or even computers? Not really, no. Uh, well, this wow. is 60, early 62, so uh -huh. I don't know where, yeah, so. so early 62, this, mm. this is the kind of time frame so, we're talking Yeah, I went about. in September after the finish of the school year, so. Wow, wow. <laughs> and you had the job by the end of the day? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Still carried on looking though. Oh really? <laughs> we could then. <laughs> Fantastic. No. Okay. So day one on the job. I mean, what, what, physically, what what was programming the machine? Were you, was it was this handwritten? Handwritten on paper. Okay. Um, which then had to be um, punched onto paper tape, and that's how it was read in. The changes or the whole new programs went in that way. Uh -huh. So there was a huge data entry department who who put the programs in. Right, so, so you wrote it out wrote and then somebody out. else converted it to... We had a coding to... sheet, yeah, right. you know, lovely columns and yeah. everything. And then we'd hand it over to the data entry people. Uh -huh. And then that would get sent to, to either wherever the bureau was operating at that time. Right. Was, it, was that in-house or was well, that...? Well, a lot of it was at 3.1, the main one. Uh -huh. And then some of this stuff we did, I stopped finding out again today. It, we used to take it down to an office. I said, well, where did it go? And they, they were telling me, yes, it went off somewhere. Because you got one run a day to update Right. So if you made, so we dry ran it in every amendment because you've only got one go at it yeah. that day. Uh -huh. If you got it wrong, you've got, it wrong, you got another day to go. And dry, then you were in trouble as well. Dry running <laughs> and testing was a big part of it actually then. So what would dry running Well, be? they'd read through it to see if they thought what we'd written, the coding, would work to do what was supposed to happen. So this is kind of, so it's not you, it's somebody else. Somebody then else double checks run, that, yeah. thinks yeah. through the logic in the same yes, way the as you were. Yeah. And if they agreed, then we were right. good. That's right. Right, wow. So I hadn't even touched the machine at yeah. that point in time. We used to do our own testing on the machine mm -hmm. when it was lunchtime on the bureau closed. Well, not closed, they all went off. Yeah. As programmers, we, we took our testing to do on the machine itself. Uh -huh. So then we got more than one run a day, obviously. <laughs> so but only using your own dinner time <laughs> yeah. or lunchtime. <laughs> so that's how it went. How it's Right. It's a different world of what we did. Well, it is so, so different yeah. from, from today. So, so far different. It is. But, uh, so what was it like working at this company then? It was you know? good. It, not fun. It was very sociable, very yeah. friendly. Uh-huh. Yes. Was it a big company? Is it, how many people were there, do you reckon? I don't know. Sorry. No? It's a huge, great office and lots of corridors and right. you know, enormous building in, in Queensway mm -hmm. with you know, a huge big windows because it was a over a department store. Oh. So we had sort of plot of 
sort of ceiling window is that looking out onto Queensway. Uh -huh. Huge, great building in right. that way, yeah. but not, not modern at all in that way either. Yeah, uh, yeah. So, but there's, there's quite a number of people there. By oh, yes. There's that big there building was, then, yeah. Big bit, well, there was, that's the Leo, I don't know if the Leo 1 was still there, Leo 2 was still in the place. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But then later I had to go to Minerva Road, which was the factory, to test when we were testing out the new machines before they, before they went out to customers. Mm -hmm. So, you know, get, make sure the software was applicable for whatever they'd ordered on their machine. Right. So they moved, lived on a factory site then. <laughs> <laughs> Is it, it's, it was kind of a nine to five type job or? Yes, and to, and to, unless you, you did get called out if things broke down to certain right. sites, because we could, I remember going to um, post office, you know, one of the bigger customers that had lots of, I don't know, machines they had. And if their machine broke down at night, I remember being, we'd get called out and have to go and run, run it and find out why things were going wrong. Right. So we'd, right. so yeah, we could get called out. Yeah. And weekends to try and resolve things as well. It was that business critical. Yeah. Yeah. You know, they had to have engineers and programmers. Well, we out. had a, we had a sort of maintenance department. If they, I mean, a lot of queries came in in the post and whatever. This is going wrong and whatever. But other other times were time critical. So it was, excuse me, will you come and have a look? All right. So can you describe to us what these machines were like? Because, I mean, a lot of people, what, you know, we talk about computer now. <laughs> no, um, big beasts. Yeah, I mean, I, these were filling entire rooms. Oh, in yes. You probably get, well, I don't know if you get one in here. Right. I don't know, because you know, there was a cabinet. I'm not, you need an engineer more to mm. tell you what's in each cabinet. Yeah. And about six or eight tape drives, which are probably about three foot wide, the drive it runs on mm -hmm. and things. So the floor space is pretty mammoth. Was it noisy? No, not no. too bad, no, I think, no. But it's, it's, it was a, a big beast yeah. compared to what you get now. Well, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Are there any stories that you've got sort of around Leo um, in, in terms of debugging these things or, or, or things, that, anything stick out in your mind that, that you'd like to tell us about? Yes, once when it was broken, something was going wrong and we did our little test and the engineer was saying it's you and we were saying it's them and so we were, anyway. I was right in the end, it was them. <laughs> that's an age-old argument as well. You know, yes. Is there, is oh, there it a is, hardware fault is. or is it a software that's fault? That's right, it's, it was. <laughs> and we, so we wrote another little program completely right. to run around that and that didn't work either. So we went, showed him, after him saying, so I remember saying, sorry, it's you. <laughs> Quite gleeful. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Take so, a lot of pride yeah, in it. Yes, so it's that way, yes. All right, okay. But, so how long did you work there for? Well, I worked there till 65, I think. Right. Came back again in '67. Mm -hmm. So, right. that's okay. how it went. And I met my husband there. You met your husband there. <laughs> ah, one of, one of, there's a story one there. Then. One of the Leo weddings. <laughs> right. <laughs> Fantastic. There seemed to be quite a few Leo weddings. Really? Yeah. So where was he working? He was he was an engineer on three one. Right. Okay. Same machine. Not the one you had the argument with. With the no, no, <laughs> not, not the argument. He knew about it. I told him about it. <laughs> no. So then he was out on different machines around, and then we got moved out of London. So we. We left, I were left Leo's in those days, cause, uh -huh. but he was with Leo quite a lot longer. In terms of, um, you know, the, the legacy that Leo has, yeah, yeah. you know, how do, how do you feel about that? When today, you know, the events like this where people are taking an interest in these machines that are... Well, I'm quite longer. proud of it in a way. I d wasn't at the time, but it's even through other jobs going along, people say, what did you work on? I used to get people going, oh, right, Ooh. you know, and I think, oh. So I started thinking a bit more yeah. rather than it just being, well, that's where I worked. Yeah. And people had, you know, quite a long time ago were beginning to think that was a, a forerunner of what goes on. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, so it's, it's the machine. <laughs> you know, it, All right. It, it, it changed everything. It, yeah, it the, did. The, well, the mentality behind you know, the lions and the idea of having a computer that could control bit, business processes. Well, do the business processing. That yeah. was the big thing, yeah. yeah. I mean, yeah, the, machine, the computers weren't used for that at the time. No. And it, they didn't, nobody really twigged that. They that were number crunches for, yeah. si for scientific things and that's it, yeah. Mm. In fact, it came out with a printout that was quite interesting for people was ooh, uh, uh. it just took that one kind of twist on the idea behind it yeah. to think actually there are well, other they, processes they knew what do. they wanted it to do mm. and luckily somebody made the computer work rather than made the work go the way the computer was mm -hmm. which is the best way to do it yeah i mean that's the thing i mean all the software that was developed for that machine was specific to that company wasn't it yes, so the company got the computer um and people yeah, use your software with, yeah. to write the code that did the process, that yes. whatever that process was, specifically for that customer. Well, we wrote the software to let the people write yeah. the program. Yeah. So we were the ones that did the software that, so you could write it. Uh -huh. 
But yes, we did now and again, they'd sell a machine that hadn't got all the parts, so we had to develop new software. Right. But that not, wasn't very often. We were the ones that made it easier for the programmers to work. To do their job. What I call the, the business programmers, yeah. Right, okay. So, so we updated it now and again because they'd asked for changes to be done. Mm -hmm. so it's, yeah, it was an evolving thing. Not a lot of changes, but uh -huh. it was evolving all the time. The machine was a blank canvas, yes. um, and via your software, they wrote these applications that did something very specific for that customer. Yeah. Quite often, you don't businesses don't buy computers in that way now. No. They buy it to run a standard off-the-shelf package. That's right. And the business has to change the way that it does things to suit the package. Yeah. There's lots of things out there that are not suitable for where they go. Exactly. And that just Off would have been shelf. unthinkable back then, wouldn't it? No. It, it, you just wouldn't have... I mean, did, did well, do you know so new, ever? I sort don't, of say we've already got one of these, you, you know... No, why don't you have this one? Yeah. I don't, well, I wasn't involved in the selling at all. No, no, true. Didn't, be, didn't yeah. hardly ever meet a customer, really, until yeah. it was signed and sealed. Right. So, I don't, the yeah. argument... I, well, I, I thought, well, why not adapt it? You know, to me, I was was naive in a way. Well, why, should, why don't we make something that suits their business? Yeah. But it's a bit the opposite way now. Yeah, it is very much the opposite way now. I mean, that means businesses are working the way the computers want you to work mm -hmm. to a certain mm -hmm. extent, or at least that application. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, and that probably hinders businesses in some way. I suppose that some of the big businesses can afford to have yeah, but you specific Yeah, you can't syndrome. turn on every whim, because I did work later for customers, and trying to get them to decide what they wanted. It's like they yeah, don't the customer know. doesn't always know, does it? No. <laughs> so you, you're just hitting a brick wall there, so right. it's a game. Yeah. Right. Fantastic. Um, well, thank you very much for your time. I <laughs> um, really appreciate uh, okay. hearing about uh, the Leo computer and what, the work you were doing. Okay. And uh, enjoy the rest of the day. Okay, thank you. Thank you. All right.